San Antonio Living with Shelly, Leslie, Alana, Pleto, and Michael. San Antonio living, you know, you hear health myths mm -hmm. every day. We were just talking about one. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Laughter over here is the best medicine. So this morning, we're talking about some of those myths, whether or not they're true. Dr. Shilpi Agarwal is joining us this morning. She is a board-certified physician here to give us some answers. It's good to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So, well, we just had Leslie laughing for 10 minutes. Yes, which that, I love. She's Laughter feeling happy now. Medicine. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So it's going to cure my, my ear infection right now? <laughs> I don't know about that, but I want you to keep laughing. Okay. Good. Well, tell us some of your favorite myths and let us know whether or not they're true or false. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we all get so much information. It's hard to really separate fact from fiction. Right. So hopefully we're going to shed some light on that. Okay. Um, one of the recent headlines in the news these days is that um, there's a correlation between how much TV you watch and how your sperm count is. So there was a study out of Harvard and what that showed is they looked at 200 um, young men and they mm -hmm. surveyed them. Okay. What they did is they asked them how physically fit they were and how much TV they were watching. And what they found was that people who were watching more than 20 hours of TV a week, they were end up ending up with about a 44% lower sperm count than those who watched about two hours of mm -hmm. TV a week. So that's pretty so significant. That's, a, that's true. However, that's, though, you have to kind of take that apart and go, mm -hmm. By sitting and watching TV, you're probably not out doing exactly. healthy things, and that's really what's doing it. Absolutely, and they, you know, and it's interesting because nowadays when you're watching TV, you have sometimes a computer on your lap, mm -hmm. which makes the lap warmer, and that also affects True. the scrotum. Oh. Oh. So then that also doesn't preserve the health of the sperm. Additionally, they took that study further, and what was more astonishing to me is that they looked at physical activity. So they found mm -hmm. that. Men that were 15, uh, doing physical activity for 15 hours or more, they had a 73% increase in their sperm count compared to those who were doing five hours or less. So if you're looking to start a family, this is definitely something that you need yeah. to take note of. And really, you said the 20 hours a week, that's where you saw the decline. Really think about that, that's about two and a half hours a day. Which is yeah. a lot of TV, yeah. Which, but some people may say, oh, I just sit in front of the TV 7 to 10 p.m. at night, yeah. and yes. there you so have it. So it's like you got to mm -hmm. get walking while mm -hmm. you're watching that TV. What's another myth that we can either debunk or, or not? Yeah, so we all use apps, we use technology. Technology. And um, recently there was a study that was out of the University of Pittsburgh that looked at four different um, skin cancer checking apps. And so okay. what it did was, I have an example of it, it looked at um, three that would analyze it with just computer data, you know, mm -hmm. it would use an algorithm, and then one where you take a picture of your mole, for example, and mm -hmm. you would, it would get sent into a board certified dermatologist. Okay. Now this was really scary because three out of four of those were getting melanoma diagnoses wrong 30% of the time. Wow. wow. So I don't know, but I don't want to tell my patients to trust their health to a skincare app. Yes, I, I think that would be a bad idea. Yes. But again, you know, we're, that's the way everything's moving. Mm -hmm. So right. people who don't do the research might kind of go that way. So, exactly. So what should you do if you have an area where you think it needs to be checked? So I always recommend going to the physician. There really isn't a substitute yet for going to see your dermatologist, having that mole eva evaluated. And um, if you take a look, I just have an example of one of these. You you click on it, mm -hmm. and what happens, for example, is if you were to, let's just say, take a photo of one of a mole that right. you were to have, you know, mm -hmm. you pick the pick a mole. I'm gonna pick one on you. Pick my arm, yes, <laughs> easy. I have several. And then what it does is it characterizes it by the asymmetry, mm -hmm. the borders the color, and then it asks you a couple questions, let's say, on the size. Mm -hmm. Additionally, was it slow or fast growing? So let's say slow. It gives you a pretty low risk. Mm -hmm. Now, this is really scary because if it is a melanoma, you're just relying solely on the computer, mm -hmm, right. and you could be missing these deadly diagnoses. So I definitely don't recommend that okay. we use this until, you know, we have better data mm -hmm. and we're, you know, a little bit more understanding of differentiating those two. Okay, give us one more myth to bust. <clears throat> All right, so this last one is one of my favorites. Okay. Okay, so Pepsi, we all love soda, mm -hmm. came out with a new soda that was launched in Japan, and um, it's called Pepsi Special. Mm -hmm. What it does is it has dextrin in it, which is an insoluble fiber, and it's supposed to help people to lose weight. So that's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. It's soda that helps lose several. weight. People are getting really excited yeah. about it. The thing is, with that, it was a f insoluble fiber that was only tested on rats, and so it was never tested on humans, so we can't really say whether or not it works, and again, it's encouraging us all to keep drinking soda. Mm -hmm. So, 
Instead of that, what I like to recommend to people is more natural ways of mm -hmm. boosting up their metabolism and um, trying to lose weight. So okay. I have a couple of those here that okay. I was going to tell you guys about. What do we have? Apple okay, cider so vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Yep. This is a very old school remedy. Mm -hmm. And what you do, it's a little bit tart, is you put two about two tablespoons into a cup of water. Okay. And what this does and why it's so great is that it helps to stabilize blood sugar levels. So okay. it stops the body from getting those spikes and drops in insulin and mm -hmm. in glucose. And so that's very helpful How for you. How often do you drink that? So in the mornings you can drink this. And there's a great benefit because it really gives you that pick-me-up. So, you know, instead of your coffee, you might sw uh, swipe it out for that. Oh, I don't know. We'll yeah, see. I know. We'll we'll try see. it in the morning. <laughs> cayenne we'll pepper. So cayenne pepper, you guys have all probably heard because all the celebrities are using it and they're really excited about it. And what it does is it naturally heats up the body and it revs up your metabolism. Mm -hmm. So you keep burning calories much further after you've done eating the meal with the cayenne pepper in it. So about a tablespoon or so, depending on how spicy you like your food. Green tea good for you? So this is peppermint tea. Peppermint tea. And this tea. is one of okay. my personal favorites. I use this. It really helps support bowel health and it helps you to cleanse your system, keep your body efficient and burning mm -hmm. fat as well. I'm taking notes here. I yeah, see that. I see that. And the last item? Okay, this is a personal favorite that I recommend to a lot of my patients, especially you diabetics out there. I would recommend that you take it, and again, that's very helpful in stopping to absorb glucose from mm -hmm. the gut. And why that's really important is because, again, it stabilizes blood sugar levels, and it stops you from gaining that weight and can helps you control your diabetes. A few things to, Great to buy over there. Yes. I guess yes. so. Thank you Absolutely. so much Thank for coming so and sharing all this me. with us. If you've got questions, you can contact the doctor. You can find her, Dr. Sylphie Agarwal. Her website is right there on the screen. It's sylphiemd.com for more information.